Hello, uh, welcome to episode 85. And um, for uh, this uh, day session, I've come down to uh, Claydon Pit Course Fishery in uh, Letchley, Gloucestershire. And uh, today I'm aiming for some tench. As you can see, I'm already fishing. Got fishing first to, to maximise fishing time. Uh, I haven't been here for about six months now when I was last year with my mates uh, Keith and Ginge. So I uh, thought it was about time I got down here again. Uh, first time out down here on the barbel rods. I've had a good few times out now carp fishing, but I thought it was about time they uh, got out and done a bit of tench fishing now. So um, last time I was here I was always fishing uh, for the tench on the carp rods. So looking for a bit more fun this time on the on the barbel rods for the for the tench this time. Uh, tench pound for pound fight as good as any carp do. So on these rods I'm hoping for some good sport today. Later on I'll also uh, be announcing the winner of the competition from the of the of all the competition that I did in um when I was at the festival fishery. So uh stay tuned for that. But for now, just waiting for one of these to scream off. So till then Go fishing. Right then guys, it's taken a couple of hours. Here we go. Oh, wriggly bugger. First tench. Not gonna weigh these fish today. Oh well if I get a, an absolutely massive one, but uh <laughs> I'm a three pound ish, I'd say. I've got to sort my other rod out because this one I picked up my other line and put me in an absolutely right tangle. Two bits of fake yellow corn soaked in the hemp of beetling. I'd only just uh, recast my rods to actually because I, I did cast out tiger nut when I first got here. That changed the two bits of yellow corn and uh, Five minutes later, this little beauty. What is giving me a nightmare at the moment? It's got a net full of it. This weed. Absolutely reams and reams of it floating in the lake at the moment. Keeps picking up my lines, giving me false bleeps. Been trying to scoop it out with me landing net. It's been a bit of a nightmare. Right, let's get this fish back. Alright oh, guys, tench number two. Tiny little bit bigger than the last one. It's probably got to be up three and a half, four pound, I guess. On the same rod that I had at first tench, just done the recast. Put it out, I'm still in the middle of sorting out the second rod after that first tench tangled me up. And uh this one went away again within minutes of the recast, so uh, seems like that switch to uh, fake double yellow corn was a good switch. So it's catching now. Right, let's put this one back and uh, try and get a rod in the water. Right then guys, now I've had a couple of fish I'll show you my uh, tackle and rigs that I'm uh, fishing this session. So start off with I've got a lead free leader, one's a splice myself, about two foot long, nice and supple and when they're wet very heavy, sinks like a brick. One and a half ounce flat pair lead, don't need heavy leads for tench fishing and they're uh, just right extended uh, stems that I put on all my inline leads now for uh, making the licking sticking part of uh, making up the PV bag a bit easier. Hook link, supple braid right through, about three inches long, sinker in the middle, medium sized one just to uh, make sure the rigs all nicely pinned down. Curve shank hook, 
little bit of a uh, uh, tubing on there to give it a bit of a kicker. Um, it's barbless for all the other. Uh, this was a barbed hook, but I've crimped it down with some pliers. And then, as you can see, two bits of fake yellow sweet corn. As per usual, glugged in the hind of beetle in. All that's going into a solid um, catch cup PVA bag. And I'm casting these out at 36 yards. All that weed I showed you earlier on, it's quite thick out in the middle of the lake and uh, before I started fishing I uh, had a lead around to find out where the weed was. The weed actually at about 40, 40 sort of two yards out so I've come back a bit, about a rod length from the, the weed bank and uh, yeah that's at 36 yards which I'm fishing at both rods. I've got two bank sticks set up to do the wraps so it's exactly uh, nine wraps, 36 yards. Right, let's get this back in a PVA bag and back in the lake because I ain't going to catch fish in my hand, is it? Uh, one little quick extra bit on the rig just to show now it's in a PVA bag. Just for showing like the ex extended stems up on me in my legs. See, when you do the lick and stick of the PVA bag, when you've got that solid extra extra long stem to uh, do the lick and stick on. It uh, just makes the whole lick and stick process a little bit easier. And you just wear it, wrap it around that long stem and it makes it nice and easy to do the lick and stick. Alright, let's get us out in the water and try and get tension number three. give you a quickie update. Uh, still only on the two tench at the moment. I thought after I changed over to the yellow fake corn on both rods I'd, uh, I'd uh, got into something after having those two tench fairly quickly but um, but that's it that's all I've had so on the tench front. I have uh, picked up two bream since I uh, last had those tench, but I just put them straight back because uh, well, I don't think any of you would probably be interested in just looking at bream. Um, it wasn't even that big really, probably about two pounds, three pounds, so they went straight back. Uh, as it has gone a bit slow on the tench front, I've changed one of the rods to uh, pink corn, still two grains, but I thought I'd give the pink a go instead of the yellow, so yellow rod still got two greens as a the yellow one. The floating weed's still a nightmare, still keeps wrapping around me lines and giving me false bleats. Well, at least the weather's nice. Hi guys, uh just quickly show you what I've uh, been dealing with today. I see all this floating weed in the margins under my rods. This is what has been an absolutely nightmare today. As you can see there's a right old ripple on the water with the wind blowing today. And I think with all the fresh weed that's sort of growing at the moment out in the lake, it's all the stems of the weed is still very uh, it's sort all of soft and weak at the moment and I think with this sort of chop on the water it just must be breaking it up in droves out in the lake and as it drifts towards this way it's just catching on the lines if you can hear them bleeps there that is just where the line where the line has been caught by the weed down there look 
planet is just constantly giving you false bleeps all day. At one point, while I had a look at on the lake, I saw a mass of weed coming towards me. I even wound both rods in at one point and just went for a walk. So I thought it was pointless fishing because uh, this weed is just being a nightmare. So you try and clear it, you do it, and then just another big chunk comes along and clogs you up again. So it's just a losing battle. Fine guys, it's been a bit of a battle today. It's been a good few hours since I've had any action with the last bream. But, got another one. Changed the distance I was fishing just by a little bit. Earlier on I told you I was fishing at nine rod lengths out. Just wound in a bit to a eight rod lengths out. And, uh, well, smallest tension of the day, but very welcome, because it's uh, been very quiet for the last few hours. So hopefully, uh, maybe uh, that little closer in change of spot is, uh, Gonna pick things up again, 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 again. <laughs> anyway, got to be catching. Let's get it back. Try and get another one. <sighs> All right, guys. As I said earlier on in the intro, um, I'm gonna announce the winner that I did uh, for the competition when I was at uh, the festival to a. Uh, guess the weight of um, one of those fish I had. I had a load of very close guesses and I had a load of very wild guesses. Uh, from what I can gather by the average sort of uh, guess, I'm guessing that the uh, most of you must have thought the fish was a lot bigger than it actually was because most of the guesses are sort of the mid to upper sort of double range on the guess mark. But the actual weight of that fish was 13 pounds 10 ounces. Uh, I reviewed all the uh, comments on that video last night and there was only one person who got the uh, exact right answer and the name of that person was Daniel Lee. So I will uh, get in contact with you very soon for your uh, address and I will uh, get that bottle of um, Hinder's Beetle in Black posted off to you as soon as you uh, let me know your address. So well done to you mate, you were the only one who got the right answer. Uh, unfortunately there can only be one winner so thanks everyone for uh, those who did enter and I'll do another competition one day. <laughs> All right. That's it folks. I'm calling it a day. Been a bit of a nightmare session today, really. Main enemy has been the weed. When I started fishing this session today, I was flanked either side of me by a couple of regulars. And even both of them packed up and went home early because they uh, they said it's just not fishing how it normally fishes. So uh, if the regulars are packing up and going home early, then I think I've been uh, quite patient, really, to... Um, sort of stick out through a slow session, battling all that weed, giving me false bleeps all day. And then the final nail in the coffin was um I was just at my car, not not a million miles away, just seeing my car there behind me. Just putting a few bits in the car that I didn't need anymore. And you can see my boot lid still at where I was putting stuff in the car. While I was at the car, absolutely screaming run ran back to me fucking rod and uh, nothing on the end apart from a load of weed so um, that's it knocking it on the head that's the final nail in the coffin that's made me say that's enough today at least it hasn't been a complete disaster come to target the tench and uh, I've had a few has been good sport on the barbell rods which is what I set out to do and uh, 
well, I just wish there'd been a few more really, but anyway, that's it, yeah, sort of off in on, that's the end, going home, packing up, the end. <laughs>